Today I'm going to be showing a demonstration that relates electricity and its effect on gas and how we use it in lighting in our society today. So the materials I have today is a high frequency generator, which I as well show in a minute, emits electricity from the edge of it, or the tip of it. So as you can see, this high frequency generator emits a charge which goes towards the metal, and this, will, this is what I'll be using to excite the gas. Now here I have two incandescent light bulbs, and one of which has gas in it and one of which doesn't, and I'll show you how this makes a difference in how it lights up. And here is just a standard fluorescent light bulb. So now, let me show you how this fluorescent, this incandescent light bulb can be excited and well, how this color and why this color occurs. So as you can see, as I excite this incandescent light bulb with the electricity, there's a color inside that's all motion blue. So this blue color is caused by, because there's a gas inside of here, most likely nitrogen, which is excited and moves to a higher energy state. When it moves to this higher energy state, it releases color, and in this case, the color happens to be blue. Now here I have another incandescent light bulb which doesn't contain gas inside of it. Now whenever I excite this, you'll see that there's no color produced. So as you can see, there's no color produced and the electricity merely goes straight to the filament. Now here I have a fluorescent light bulb and whenever I excite this fluorescent light bulb, you'll see that a different color is produced than this one. So in this fluorescent light bulb, an orangish yellow color is produced and this is because there's a different gas in this one than this one. And these different gases are what allows us to create light. Now, I can also create light with another method. Instead of exciting, it, exciting the gas inside the light bulb, I can use an incandescent light bulb to show the filament, how the filament is excited. So as current flows through the filament, you can see it produces light, which is different than that of gas. So, the overall idea here is that when gas is excited in any form, like a fluorescent light bulb, or an incandescent light bulb, then you can see a color is produced, and this color is a result of the excited gas moves to a higher energy state. And this is the two main ways that we light our society today. Thank you.